Do I need a real estate coach? It's one of the most common questions that I hear real estate agents ask is, should I get a coach? When do I need a coach? How do I know if I need a coach? And then how do I pick which coach to hire? Well, my name is Kevin Ward with YesMasters.com. I help real estate agents get more yeses and more successes in their business and in their life. And I also coach you to achieve that. Now, the question is, do you need me or not? And this is a question that people ask, and they get into real estate, and they go like, ah, I've thought about coaching, but I've, you know, there's a lot of money, you pay a ton of money to these guys, and sometimes you get results, and sometimes you don't. Do I need a coach? And if I do need a coach, when do I hire a coach? Do I hire a coach just when I'm getting started, or do I wait till I get some success under my belt, and I've learned the ropes, and then hire a coach? Well, let's just talk about those two questions for a little bit today. One is, when, is do I need a coach? And here's the question, and here's the answer. It depends. It depends on what kind of business you want to build as a real estate agent. Are you looking at building an amateur business as real estate? Or are you looking at building a professional business as real estate? Now when we think of coaching, we typically think of athletics and it's kind of the, the main place where you run into where, where coaching is kind of like everybody has a coach. So when you look at, at athletes, when they play a sport, whether it's basketball or football or tennis or soccer or what, bowling, whatever it is, the question is, do they need a coach? Well, it depends. If you're an amateur, you don't need a coach. If you're a pro, well, I just noticed that all the pros at every single level always have a coach. Now, what's the difference between an amateur and a pro? Well, here, there's several differences between an amateur and a pro. One is an amateur really plays the game for fun. That's what it's really about for them. It's about the fun. For the pro, it's about winning. They play to win because it's, it's important to them. It is their business, it is their life, it is their passion, it is their commitment to be the best they can be because that is their business. It is their, they are a professional at it. What's, this biggest, what's the second big difference between an amateur and a professional? Well, the biggest difference that I see is that is that pros get paid for what they do and amateurs, eh, most of the time, money is not in the equation. Well, there is money in the equation, it's just they're spending it rather than earning it. So the difference between a professional and amateur is one makes money and one doesn't. What's the other big difference? And the other big difference I hope is kind of clear and glaringly obvious and that is that professionals always, every time without exception, have a coach and amateurs have no coach. What's the difference? Depends on how, at what level you want to succeed. Do you want to succeed as an amateur? Just have some fun, spend some money and hang out, see what happens. or do you want to play to win in the game of real estate? Well, here's what I know is that everybody I talk to that's in real estate now, nobody got in real estate to sell houses. People get in real estate because they want to make more money, they want to have more time control, they want to be their own boss, they want the freedom that they perceive real estate will give them. So the way I describe it to agents is you didn't get in real estate to sell real estate. You got in real estate to have a life. Now, how's that working out for you? See, the way I look at it is your life is about winning in it because it's the only game you've got. It is your championship game. You get one shot in it, so you might as well play to win. And if you're going to play to win in your life, you've got to win in business because you've got to have the money to have, be able to have the choices, the control, the, the opportunities to do the things you want to do in your life. So what do you do? You hire a coach. So my question is, do you want to win in your business? Do you want to win in your life? And then the second question that agents ask all the time is, when do I get a coach? Should I get a coach when I'm brand new or do I get a coach once I've got it figured out? Well, I'm just going to ask you a simple question. When do championship athletes get a coach? Do they say, well, as soon as I start winning championships, I'm going to hire a coach, I'm going to get serious in, or do they hire a coach from the very beginning? And I notice in softball and baseball and sports, even the little kids, what do they have? They have a coach from the very beginning. A coach will help you get better, perform at a higher level, and achieve at a higher level period in the story. So the question is, do you want to achieve sooner or do you want to achieve later? If you want to do it sooner, it just makes sense to get a coach. Now, you say, well, which coach should I choose? Well, that's for another story. That's for another video. But here's what I want to tell you right now is, make sure whichever coach you choose is somebody who's got game. This is Kevin Ward at YesMasters.com. I help real estate agents win in their business and win in their life. I look forward to talking to you real soon. That's game.